time to bring in all the raw goodies. have on my countertop right now before we stash it on up I have a regular bananas but as what I'm planning on doing though with these is just finely chopping them up and letting them air dry and letting them turn into banana donuts they will be ready tomorrow they are so awesome but that's why I have the bananas here and I'm not gonna eat them this way I'm gonna chop them up and let them dry out on the countertop I got a star fruit that's still ripening up I have a dragon fruit that I need to eat up here that's ready I have a pumelo that is ready that's such an awesome grapefruit and then two pink lady apples um, a small heirloom tomato lemon lime some garlic back there and some spicy peppers from last summer last summer's garden and then I've started some sprouts. I got alfalfa sprouts and mung bean sprouts going on there. So that's what we we look like right now. This is after um, two two days. And then this is what I've got in my refrigerator. I got coconut water, basil that I can never get through fast enough, but I just let it air dry and I still use it up. Um, I still use it up. And then I got. Uh, uh, there are garlic chives, yeah, garlic chives back there, and then using up the rest of my ingredients for my dressing with some lemon and um, onion there, and then corn, some coleslaw mix, which is just uh, cabbage, kale, romaine, and lots of zucchini for zoodles coming up, one pack of spinach, and I love letting my veggies kind of air dry like this in the fridge because it just adds to the wonderfulness of the dressing. So a lot of you guys ask me about um, drying fruits and veggies. Well, this is what I do with my veggies. I just let it sit in here and let it wrinkle, 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 wrinkle. And it, it adds a wonderful tasty flavor to dressings. I got carrot and um, celery. So a lot of you guys wanted me to include the prices with my fruit and veggie haul videos and I have no problem doing that for you guys. I'll try not to make the video too long here for you. But um, I do live in Alaska, uh, in Fairbanks, Alaska, and I was born and raised here. So uh, these prices I am so, I'm used to and my jaw drops when I hear your guys' prices because you guys got it so cheap. You guys got it so cheap. But on the other hand, sometimes I get cheaper produce than you guys on certain things. How bizarro is that, right? So for the first store that I went to is I went to Safeway, which is our expensive store at Pear, okay? Um, so I bought one pack of Medjool dates. I like to use these for my dressings and um, smoothies, um, but also my donut cream recipe. Awesome. You can find that in my Make It Raw Recipes playlist, you guys. It's super good. Just bananas, dates, and coconut water. It's Amazing, tastes like donut cream. So this one pound pack of Medjool dates was $8.49 at Safeway. Then I was looking for heirloom tomatoes and this town has no heirloom tomatoes at the moment. And actually for the past, every time I go to the grocery store, they just haven't been having heirloom tomatoes, which has been bugging me, but that's okay. So I went for the cherub tomatoes. I know these are very expensive and these were $4.99 each. So I bought, I needed, I needed tomatoes. I really needed tomatoes. So um, these I actually got for $9.98 for uh, total for these two. Then I bought four kiwis, you guys. They were 99 cents each, so it cost me $3.96 uh, for all these um, kiwis. Then I got a lemon, you guys, and that was $1.49. Then I got two honey tangerines. I usually get more, but um, these say they're from Florida, so uh, I look at the stickers and I really kind of compare where they're coming from because that kind of determines the flavor of, of the fruit because even though it can be the same fruit that you've had before, they still taste a little bit different from different um, farmers and different states it comes from. So I just picked up two of them. So it cost me $2.03 for these two. They were two, uh, I believe. Uh, $2.99 per pound. That's why I only got two. It's very expensive. 
And then I got a mango, you guys, because mangoes are coming back. I love the champagne mangoes, but I can't find them anywhere. Well, actually, no, I did find them. They were just extremely green, and that is not the time that I buy them. I know when to buy champagne mangoes and when so they can ripen properly up here. Um, so I um, picked out just a regular mango, and it was $2.50 each. And then, you guys, I got um, two six-ounce packs of raspberries. And um, they were actually on sale. So they were two, I think they were, let's see, they were like $3.99 each. Um, but uh, they were on sale. And then I also did that the same with blackberries. And that was the same price also. So it cost me roughly about $55, 55 $56 for um, that round at Safeway. Okay guys, so for my next store that I went to was Fred Meyers. Um, so what I bought at Fred Meyers here is um, two um, more things of celery because I'm starting to get back into my green juices again. So uh, two stock, two, these are, uh, yeah, stocks of celery and that was $1.99 per pound. They are organic and it cost me $4.98 for all this celery. Then, you guys, the fabulous best onion in the darn freaking world, if you ask Miss Stacy, you guys, is a leek onion. If you guys have never tried leek onions, you must try them. You, It's so worth the price that you get them for, and it lasts a long time, and it just adds a delicious, delicious flavor to all your dressings. Don't use the standard green onions like everybody else does. Come on now, people. There's lots more onions out there in the world you can try. And so leek onions are an amazing as an onion to try. So this on, uh, leek onion, there were no organic ones. Otherwise, I usually buy organic. But this was $2.49 per pound. So this cost me $2.24. I usually get them cheaper than that, though. But this round, they were just expensive, this round. But so worth it. Then I got an organic cucumber for my green juices, and um, that cost me $1.49, and that was actually on sale. Then I got one pound of organic strawberries, and they were on sale, and that cost me $3.49, and I have never seen them any cheaper than this, so I had to pick some up. I just had to. Then I got another one pound pack of Medjool dates. This is the Hadley brand. There was only one left there and that cost me $7.99. And I most certainly am aware of 7hot dates, you guys, 7hotdates.com, um, but um, I only need just a little bit and I, I just use these for my dressings and to nibble on a little bit here and there. And so I choose to kind of buy the ones uh, here in my area at the moment because um, I just don't want to buy a huge pack of them yet. That's usually, I, I usually wait for September to do that when I'm, when it's date season, you know. And then you guys, I got, I found something new. It's called a Mercot, Mercot. So I only got one and that was $3.99 per pound. So it cost me 99, uh, 96 cents for this. And I know kumquats are really strong. And so this is, um, uh, a type of breed of a, it's a crossbreed, I believe, probably of a mandarin and a kumquat, I think. But so I only started with one since I know how strong and pungent kumquats are. I wanted to get more of these, but they were really expensive. They're Asian pears or apple pears um, or the Korean pears. And they, this was $2.99 each. So I paid $2.99 for this. I want These are so delicious. I love these, but I only had to get one because they're very expensive. And then I got cauliflower because I want to share my cauliflower mash recipe with you guys. Um, so here soon. And um, I just like to add it to my um, veggie meals all the time. Cauliflower so good. I do like uh, broccoli, you guys. And I started eating broccoli when I f first went raw, but I realized how hard on digestion broccoli is. And cauliflower is just fine, but broccoli is a different story. So I kind of chose to stop eating broccoli uh, several years ago um, because of the extreme hard digestion. Otherwise, it, ta it tastes super good with dressings. I, I still think about wanting to get broccoli every now and then, but I just think of the hard digestion of it, and I'm just like, no, we'll pass on the broccoli. Cauliflower is just fine. So this cauliflower was um, $1.99 per pound, and so I, it cost me $5.29 for all this cauliflower. I am so into the grapefruits, okay? Still, I hate grapefruits, 
but I love them. It's a love-hate relationship with me, as I've shared with you guys in a couple previous videos, but I got the Rio red grapefruit, so they're bigger ones, and these were $2.29 per pound, so it cost me $5.38 for these two grapefruits. Then, you guys, I got the Texas red grapefruits, which I think are just awesome in flavor and sweetness and everything. And so I bought six of them here, and they were 99 cents each, so it cost me $5.94 for all these grapefruits. And then I bought a pink grapefruit, and it's organic, so it's kind of yellow on the outside, but it's, it's a pink grapefruit. And this was $2.49 per pound, so it cost me $1.92 for this organic pink grapefruit. Of course, you guys, the citrus has just been amazing, you know, lately. For, for me up here in Alaska, I was just, the variety and uh, abundance has been very amazing and wonderful. But I've just been loving the grapefruits and certain mandarins lately. So I bought sumo mandarins, three of them, and those were $3.99 per pound. So it cost me $10.57 for three huge, um, Sumo mandarins. If, you, if you've had a sumo mandarin before, you know what I'm talking about. These are just so tasty. And then of course for my green juice, I love adding apples to green juices and even smoothies too. Um, juicing the apples and adding the apple, fresh apple juice to smoothies, that's super good. Just apples and bananas is really good. I really want to do a video for you guys on that. It's a really good smoothie. Um, but that's later. That's later. Um, but I love the Fuji apples because it's a super sweet apple. And so, of course, these are organic and these cost me $9.31. They were $3.19 per pound. And then I also got um, two green Granny Smith apples. I know these are tart. I don't particularly like these, but I do like them once in a while in a juice, green juice, and I've just been feeling them lately, so I got two of them. And um, they are organic, so it cost me $2.66 for two of them. They were $2.99 per pound. And you guys, I found a brand new apple. I was like, oh, this is so cool. Another new apple or another new fruit is showing its face in the store, that's awesome. They're called, um, they were Autumn, what are they, Autumn Glory? Autumn Glory Apples. Mm. And so I only picked up, I just picked up three of them here and they were $1.99 per pound. They are not organic and they, so it cost me $2.73 for three Autumn Glory Apples here, okay? So you guys, that was a total of $67.94 at Fred Meyers. Now, um, we used to have Sam's Club, but Sam's Club kind of went out of business up here. That was in January. Um, so it's usually a, a, our bulk food store. So I don't shop there anymore because there's no more Sam's Club up here anymore. Um, but then there's also a co-op market, but that's super expensive, just like Safeway. But they haven't been having much variety there, so I choose just to shop at Fred Meyers most of the time um, because I can also get rewards you know ga gas rewards there that really helps but um, then there's there's, uh, we also have uh, a, an oriental market, but I usually only go there for like durian and jackfruit um, sometimes when they carry it. And uh, they always carry durian, of course, but I'm just not in the mood for durian. And they're very selective on fruits. They really don't have the, any fruits there, really. But once in a while, they, they will. But that's where I get my sweet Thai bananas, but they rarely um, stock those. Um, otherwise, that's kind of a selective where I shop there. And then we also have a Walmart, and um, I just didn't go to Walmart because I needed certain things that I knew Walmart didn't have. Otherwise, Walmart is a fabulous place to shop for produce. They get they carry really good produce, and of course, it's cheap too. Hey guys, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this Alaskan fruit and veggie haul video with the prices. Hopefully it didn't go on too long for you guys there, but this is the fruity stash. Awesome. Looks wonderful. Okay guys, so remember to love being raw. Put a big old smile on your face today. I hope I did that for you guys. And I'll see you guys next video, alright? Bye guys.